So here we are. I have to do another video because the market's moving again. And I'm getting a lot of messages and so forth. And I, I kind of understand. A lot of you, a lot of the people out there are new to trading. And they're very emotionally involved. You know, uh, when prices move in a big way like they have uh, the past week, um, people get upset and uh, are confused and uh, emotional. <laughs> The thing is that you really can't do that in trading. Um, you have to disconnect yourself from this. Uh, not everything you're going to do is going to be perfect and uh, whatnot. The, the main point is that you observe, plan, and execute. And uh, once you do that, you know, you have a plan and you execute that plan. That's it. There's nothing to think about. You go on from there. Um, what I want to show you is... Uh, Binance coin, the, I exited this early. Uh, now, I made a decent amount of money on it. I can't complain, but, you know, it's going right to target right now, which was in the 226 area, I believe it is. Um, so that's where BNB is going to go. But I want to show you guys something else. I want you to focus on this right here because this is going to go right back to there. And let's draw a line. So, boom, 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 do, 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 as short, right as rain, this price is going to go all the way back up to here. So on a percentage basis, if this goes under, let's say 200 or whatever, um, this is going to be a good, and I'm going to show you how this pattern is repeating itself across the whole market. It's very easy to see. Um, it's kind of a, what would be the best way to, to draw this? Near, 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 near. I can draw it in several different ways. Why do I have purple lines in my chart? Does it really matter? No, it really doesn't matter. Who cares? So they're purple. And all right, so we have this type of pattern right here. Let's put it in little uh, triangular. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? To wake up I gotta wake up okay I want to show you this boom 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 I'll just make sound effects all day today and boom wherever it goes down to here target level on this one was 226 uh, looks like it's going right to there let's give it that right there all right, now you see this pattern right here, and eh, eh. all right, kind of looks like a scallop pattern. Um, there's all kinds of interesting names and so forth, but if we go to other charts, you're going to see that same geometry appearing, just like on Ethereum right here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you how this is likely going to work out. Now the whole market's freaking out and it's going back to the 1800 level, which is where I'm going to be buying. Uh, excuse me, my sinuses are still killing me this week. Son of a. Mm -hmm. But. Um, all right, so the next level down is the 1800s, 19 to 1800. I think I um, tell you, it actually stretches all the way down to 1700. But um, uh, this is where we're looking. Next level down is going to be that 1800, 1900. So um, I want to start buying. And what what what, the, what do these patterns represent? What do they basically do? This in uh, regular. Um, Forex and uh, other places, you know, uh, where I trade in the stock market, these patterns have different dimensions, but they basically are algorithms, and um, they're very much computerized in other fields, so they should be the same in crypto. Uh, but in crypto, it's more retail market driven, right? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, but anyway, like I was showing you before with... Um, uh, 
Uh, with B and B, that pattern re repeats itself. Damn it! Come on now. Pattern repeats itself. Goes down. And it has the points one, two, three, four, and five. Now the majority of the time, and they go right back to the highs of where they started. Um, that's just what they do. At some point, they will trade back to or even above. There's a good percentage of the time where they actually trade above these numbers looking for resistance, which resistance wouldn't appear until numbers in the 3,000 range on this. So that's something to take into account. Um, now let's see. So we got BNB that has this type of pattern. We have Ethereum. Let's see. What else can we see? Do we have anybody else that has this type of pattern? Uh, this one, kind of, but not really, right? Kind of has, uh, this one had more exaggeration from this move all the way down here to here. But similar geometries are being formed. This one is just, it was more oversold than the other, so it doesn't have, it's not as um, elongated to the downside. This is more of a sideways because the original impulse move that went down to the under 31K was uh, too deep. So this is more of a sideways action, but still similar geometry. Um, let's go look at XRP. Oh, look at that. Similar geometry there as well. Uh, this one's dimensions are uh, a little more skewed to the downside, which is fine. 69 is the next buy point, which was hit. Fantastic. So I've added more into this. And let's draw our little line right here. Do, 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 do. Oops. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. All right. So you know what I'm doing with this. I'm averaging into it. And let's go over and draw the geometry on here. So I'm showing you how this repeats itself across the whole market. Now, what does that mean when it repeats itself across the whole market? It means uh, it has confluence with everybody else. It, everybody's in agreement. Um, so when this does pull back up, wherever it may be and whatever it might do. And remember, there's always chaos in uh, trading. Uh, nothing happens exactly the same. Um, who knows? There could be news out next that comes out that exacerbates it. But at some point, the majority of the time, what happens most often is you're going to trade all the way back up to these numbers. And that's just the way it is. I don't know why it happens. It just does. And my job is only to go over and notice what it would do. Now, if I wanted short-term trades, when you know, buying this and so forth, I would be targeting above 127 uh, if it was in, uh, uh, let's say, BNB, I would be charging targeting above 417, right, 18, 17 in, in here, maybe even the 20s, yeah. Um, it does have back-end resistance, so I kind of take that, this, uh, I average out often when I'm looking at charts and so forth, I, I try to see how far one goes down and how far one goes up, and average out the, the back-end and front-end resistance because they do have uh, validity, um, and statistically, there are numbers that go over and point this out. It's very nuanced and, um, you know, I, I can calculate this one little spot right here and do hundreds of thousands of calculations on uh, the different variables and everything that takes place. So it's very complex. It's not as easy as people think it is because there are several, um, but that goes to where I use the spreadsheets and the algorithms to go over and, and hone in on the price action and everything there to give me uh, finite numbers, uh, empirical data. Um, so I'm not going to get into that. It's not useful to you. But this area right here would make more sense logically to sell instead of the exact top. But that doesn't mean anything because your numbers stretch all the way back up to the 500 range and uh, could spike all the way back up to there. I'm just giving you the nuanced numbers which I'm talking too much, uh, not interesting. But again, Litecoin, we're going down to 135. 157 was the old buy area, so now we're buying more as we go down. 
And that 127, I think, is the next uh, area. I have to go over and check. But um, this is looking good. You know, and I know that a lot of people are just looking at this and horrified. They can't believe they only expect prices to go up. And traders that are only buy side, all these signal providers are only buying. They only buy all the dips and then they get stopped out in a, in a down market. Well, that's life. Get over it. You know, if they were smart, they would uh, enter, uh, you know, would basically not trade or try to trade long. Because uh, a lot of the signal providers aren't, they don't understand that they can't just be buyers. Uh, but they don't know how to short and they don't know uh, how to calculate downside moves. So they're only buy side, and I know that's problematic, but that's the way they work, and you know, that's, you know, I, I don't know what to say. I, I can't, uh, I can only trade what I trade, if you understand that. But, um, so, oops. Ah, I'm getting in the way. All right, so we would be looking for on Litecoin, the 200 range from 135. So there's lots of profitability. And these are short term targets, let me mind you. All right, now this high here, this one here, uh, these would be the exact top high that you're looking for above 233. Um, so as you're going down into here, that's what you would be looking for, these type of patterns. This is a scallop type of pattern. And I know everybody is going to be in this depressed slash, you know, pissed off mode because the market's going down and all this and get over it. Stop your crying. Look and see what the opportunities are. And I don't really appreciate being, getting PMs about, you know, um, uh, it, it, I, number one, don't deal with bots as I keep repeating to you. I don't know anything about them. I don't know about the statistics or the numbers or anything like that. You'll have to talk to the other admins. Stop PMing me about the damn bots or the scalp or swing trades. I don't trade like that. That's not what I do. <laughs> so please, for the love of God, you know, save it for the other admins. Um, this is what I do. And when I have opportunities, as you know, uh, when they occur and, um, I'm going to show you what I do and, and how it's uh, occurring. Now there are many different nuanced numbers, like your volume here, I want you to notice that amplified here, larger, greater magnitude, uh, reduced magnitude on the center of this right here, and you see the congestion as we move lower, and it's reduced even more. You see how this volume is diminishing, all right, on the pattern. That's the sign, that's telling you something. Um, the uh, sellers are becoming less enthusiastic. You have the geometry. This is your target up here. If you just want the short-term trade, I won't go on, you know, longer term. Um, but in the next few uh, week or two, it, you're likely to go all the way back to here. And don't be surprised. Don't go over and say, oh my God. You know, because the psychology of all traders, or I'm sorry, of most traders out there, is when prices are down like this, they want to sell. They're afraid. And, uh, you know, uh, it, that's just the nature of the game. That's the nature of the beast. But you see the repeating geometries. Repeating geometries are an indicator. They're telling you something. And I've told you this before in the past. Um, when you get that, that is an extra degree of uh, confluence and what? confidence. I am confident in what the price will likely do in the future because I've seen this many times. Um, so when you have this, uh, could be directed by larger players that are, are creating this pattern um, so they can accumulate more uh, in the FX markets. I, I pretty much know that's the case. How that works out in here, it could be just the retail being pushed in a certain direction. They're just following the path of least resistance, which creates this, right? So anyway, 
This is a target up here, 127 on XRP. Uh, BNB would be back up to the 400 range. Let's make that red. Do, 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 do. Around that 417, am I correct in that? Remember, this has this over here. Um, so I kind of ignore this as the high. It could go up up there. It doesn't really matter. This is all statistics. There's no certainty. Um, but there, there you go. And wish I would have held that up just a, a day longer, right? Jesus, man, it's going right down to my target. Unfortunate, but that's life. Uh, I do have more money now that I can spend on buying more stuff. Uh, and I'll be doing that maybe throughout the week, depending on what we do come tomorrow. But we're likely going to get a pushback upwards, and it might be very violent and fast to the upside. Uh, a good percentage of the time they are. Uh, but we'll see. I'm not going to go over and um, state anything beyond that because I, I often price lower prices that you get on the weekend uh, tend to reverse back to the upside because it's more easy for bigger money to manipulate prices in a certain direction. They can use less volume to get lower prices uh, and push it down and, and create some panic uh, from the retail side and get their fills so they can buy bigger orders and they can create a hedge a spread and it's kind of interesting on how they do that but uh, not, maybe not that interesting to you let's see all right so I pointed out ethereum these are the ones Bitcoin uh, nothing's really happened here it, it's kind of broke back down but until it goes under the lows I'm not really going to be interested in Bitcoin uh, I would need it to go all the way back down here, maybe down to uh, the mid 20s and so forth before I start buying more. Uh, not that near. And if it does go down there, any, uh, you know, uh, then it'll cause panic. But I've seen this kind of panic many times before, so I'm not really, it's not that interesting to me. Let's look at doggy coin. <laughs> Uh, you know, this is another coin that I, I don't believe in because nobody is, is Elon Musk and uh, what's his name? Mark Cuban retarded. Uh, did they not, uh, totally ignore the fact that this is an inflationary coin, which means go F yourself. And um, if you're a real crypto enthusiast, because they print their, they have in their uh, mandate to print 5 billion coins a year that dilutes your um, it's dilutive and uh, inflationary and I'm not going to say anymore it's just stupid I don't know why Elon Musk I don't think these guys really know anything about crypto other than um, it, the basics of what it is it's pretty sad too because they're relatively intelligent business people you think you would do your due diligence but obviously they don't and I understand that crypto is a bit complicated but still do your homework Jesus, especially when you have such resources, you can't even do your homework. Shame on them. They're idiots. That, that's all I can say. But yeah, I'm not an investor in doggy coin other than that, you know, it's cool. And, uh, uh, you know, but I know plenty of people who bought the hype. Isn't that funny right here? How it collapsed. I, I knew a young 20 year old that, uh, uh, I won't even say it, that did this. And yeah, it was like nonchalant. He deserves what he gets. Uh, he didn't consult with me. You know, it's what I do, but whatever. Um, so, uh, you know, that's, that's, you need stupid people as well as smart people in trading. Uh, let's see. What else can we, we look at? Um, I keep getting like Ada. This one got crushed. Look at that move. Look at that. It went from the $2 range, now it's like half off. <laughs> so, you know, so we're having an extreme. A lot of these coins are just getting totally crushed. Theta, Theta, my poor Theta. Uh, sell zone, target zone, oh, this is the old target zone down here. Look at that, it crashed right down to the level. Isn't that funny? Look at that. So that stayed relevant. Mm-hmm. And then did that one spike all the way down. 
There are a lot of hurt butts and uh, theta, by the way. And we're looking for the moon. For the moon. And um, let's see. Link, another one. Oh, my gosh. Hurts to look at, huh? Gotta love it. Gotta love it. You gotta look at it on a percentage basis from where the coin went from and to. So let's go over and expand. Let's go to a daily. Let's bring up a chart. Now I'm just doing charts live for you. Uh, feeling a little bit better. I was having sinus issues earlier, so let's go over and see. So we went under the 61.8 on this on here. Fantastic. This is what you wanted. This is where you would want to start buying again on Theta. I mean Link and Theta. Link and Theta are two smaller ones. They're, you know, can't put a lot of money into them, but I like their um, their large moves and so forth. So they could be coins of the, the future. Uh, but man, a lot of people are getting smoked on this one hard. Uh, what was that group that's has their smart contracts. I wonder how badly they're doing at, uh, what was it, 4C. I hate to give them a mention, but uh, they're probably getting absolutely destroyed. Destroyed on this one, Link. Anyway, um, let's see. So you know what my thinking is. I'm, I'm buying as we go lower. I want to see if we can get lower under here. If we get under the 30,000 range on Bitcoin, or is it going to do something more like this? And it goes like that. You know, it, it, this can go from the 61.8 of this high low, remember what I said, all the way down to the 88.6, maybe even as low as the, the bottoms. Uh, but um, ultimately, it would be looking to trade back up to here. So we know that is built in. Or it can create that pattern that's more like this uh, and then drops back down to lower numbers here. So anyway, uh, the major thing is that uh, I, I pointed out so something like that. The major thing here in this video, which is too long, again, and I'm doing videos like every day or other day uh, this week because of the activity. Uh, mainly, a lot of you people are just, you're too emotionally involved. You know, just like, uh, just be like, um, you know, just relax. Uh, it's just prices on the screen. And uh, never uh, emotionally involve yourself with money if you do. Um, that's kind of sad. Uh, it's just money. <laughs> uh, you know, if it, your life depends on it, then um, that's pretty sad. Uh, we, uh, always operate from a position of winning and protect your downside. Um, so you should never be connected because that will cloud your judgment. If you are emotionally involved, you will not be able to see what is actually there. And my biggest strength is not my technical knowledge or my engineering or whatever, my math. It's my ability to see, see clearly. I want to make that stress that point to you and to not react emotionally. That's the thing that I've learned that has helped me the most in trading throughout the years. Um, I don't view any of this ups or downs as <laughs> reactionary. You, know, you won't see me getting upset or, you know, no matter what the market does. But anyway, the, the point is I, I showed you these patterns, right? Um, so we're completely aware of what is going on and it doesn't, I can use whatever um, timeline I like. And we're buying as it goes down. We're expecting targets like on XRP back up to the 120s. Great trade short term for uh, 69 cents, 68 cents. That whole area is the pivotal, the the, the absolute best you can get for entries. Um, bet the farm is what I do. <laughs> no, not really. But uh, you know, I, I don't mind taking risk and so forth with uh, these prices and the geometry that I'm seeing. And it's all repeating itself. When a market repeats itself like this, that's beautiful. That's what I want to see. I like that. That tells me something. So my confidence goes up because of what the market is telling me. It's giving me information. Now all I have to do is go over and react to that information correctly, right? 
Um, and thus, you know, we'll keep making profits off of the market. And uh, that's the way it goes. That's, that's life. And then you, when the prices go back up and so forth, I, I will get the, um, oh man, I wish I would have invested, but I was too scared or, you know, that's, that's the hard part because they are emotionally involved and that's the way the market works. When prices are going down, people don't want to buy. They want to sell and that's why it goes down. And it's usually led by, uh, you know, uh, manipulators and so forth to help them press them into selling and it's uh, you know that's the way the market works uh, but anyway you've seen the different coins you've seen how they're repeating everywhere from ethereum uh, to BNB and XRP and Litecoin oh did I not draw the Litecoin oops wrong one wrong one Let's go back here. Here we go. Yep. Uh, Litecoin. So there you go. All repeating geometries. Good sign. We know what numbers we're looking for. We're, watch this video again and again. Anyway, I'm going to go chill and I will talk to you whenever I have to do another video, which seems to be a lot lately. Anyway, have a great weekend and I'll talk to you later.